Hey, welcome to a special Christmas 10 at 10. Welcome into our home. And we've got the Christmas tree behind us. And we just want to share a little bit out of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5 and 6. But we're going to really focus in on the first part of verse 6. It's a passage that we always read during this season. It says, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and his peace will never end. Uh, verse 5 says, The boots of the warrior and the uniforms bloodstained by war will all be burned. They will, they will be fuel for the fire. Now, that's a really obscure verse to put right in front of verse six. Unless you recognize how they did succession in the old days among kings and families and nations. Mm -hmm. We've been going through uh, the different verses in chapter nine, one through six, we'll continue on. But we've talked about how God is going to bring a light into the world. We know that, that that is Jesus. But here in verse six, it says, for a child is born to us. That word for, or if you read it in the King James, King James Version, it says unto us. There is, there is a conjunction there to the last verse or to the last thought. Um, and here it talks about the boots of the warrior, the uniform bloodstained will be burned. The way that nations overtook nations or that became kings was they overtook them by bloodshed. They would violently come in and overtake. If there was a king that was sitting on a throne, it would take violence to remove him. But God is saying, I'm going to bring this government, this change through a child. Now, that was totally unheard of that a king would step down for a baby to now become king mm -hmm. or to wait until um, he became of age where he could make good decisions. OK, so uh, what we've got, I've got a prop here. Uh, this is one of my socks. Yeah, it's a great sock, isn't it? <laughs> but on our Christmas tree, we have a special little sock. And this little sock is one of our grandson's first socks that our daughter-in-law put a little mouse in and made it an ornament. You can see the difference in size. For the children of Israel to hear that their um, ruler or their one who is going to come and redeem them, their savior was going to come like this instead of this was a great letdown mm -hmm. because they wanted Jesus with the sword on the white horse coming in with gusto and wipe out all of the other nations. But God said, I'm going to bring them another way. Mm -hmm. For unto us, a child is born, a son is given. The government will rest on his shoulders. Now, sometimes we look at that and we, th we think just the government of Israel. What this is really talking about is this is talking about all governmental system. If we go back to Genesis... Genesis 1, 2, and 3. In there we see Adam and God giving Adam as the representative of man, giving him the, the governance. He, all government was upon his shoulders. He was, quote, the ruler of the universe or of the earth. Then through sin, he handed that to the devil. The devil was um, the devil was now the ruler of this earth. But because of Jesus, 
coming and dying on the cross for us and being raised again. Now Jesus is in that, a man born a, a son, a child. Now all government system is upon his shoulder. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share on this at some point when I, when I get a little bit more studying done. But the word of God tells us in Ephesians chapter 1 that Jesus is the head and that the Christians are the body of Christ. That now means that the body of Christ, the church, is the highest form of government in all of the earth. It is higher than principalities, powers, and rulers in high places because we are in Christ and he is the highest. So don't look at yourself from the standpoint of I'm a lowly person and there is nothing that I can do about this, the situation that is in my life. That's the way that the Israelites looked at it and they missed their opportunity to experience their Messiah. God comes to us and he tells us, don't miss that opportunity as well. Mm -hmm. Because today has been born to you and all the government is on his shoulder. And he is a wonderful counselor. He is a mighty God. He is an everlasting father. And he is the prince of peace. Mm -hmm. So we say from the younger household to your household, peace be upon you Amen. and peace be in you as Christ rules and reigns in you. God bless and have a great Christmas day.